China's space station is buzzing with excitement as the Shenzhou 14 and Shenzhou 15 crews are both living and working in space. In less than two years, we've witnessed the station's piece by piece expansion. And now with its basic T-shaped structure formed and an unprecedented six modules orbiting simultaneously, its full potential for serving as more than just a space lab has come into focus. How do aspiring space enthusiasts anticipate the China space station will expand in the future? Welcome to this episode of Tech Talk, I'm Chen Chen. Today, we're joined by two specialists, an aerospace doctoral candidate at Beihan University, China's top space tech and science college, and a rocket engineer at Interstellar Glory, China's leading commercial rocket company. Welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm Liang Chen. I also, I'm a graduate from Beihan University, and I am a chief system engineer in a commercial aerospace uh, company, uh, mainly major on uh, reusable launch vehicles. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. And Lee, go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Li Xiang, and I'm studying at Beihan University, and I'm major in uh, spacecraft design. Uh, it is an engineer. Thank you so much for joining us, and I'm so glad that we can put this together in this very special way. So first of all, why don't we just fray our imaginations? How do you hope, what do you hope the China Space Station can become um, beyond its current duties as a space science laboratory? Lee, you are the younger generation. Why don't you go first? Okay, uh, I think the China Space Station may become a home port. Uh, I believe that China is high for space exploration. Uh, staying in the low Earth orbit is unable to meet our goal. Uh, and we want to fly a further place in space. Uh, over the next 10 to 15 years, uh, China will carry out more missions to the Moon or Mars. Uh, for example, we would retrieve more uh, sample from the back of the moon or the Mars, uh, and we will accomplish the mandate um, moon landing. Uh, however, if we uh, go farther from the Earth to the moon or the Mars, uh, it is like driving from the downtown to the suburbs. Uh, and if we are tired of driving, uh, we can find a rest station to have a break or refill. Uh, I think um, China Space Station is like the uh, rest station, or I would call it a uh, home port. Uh, in the future, if we want to build a lunar uh, research station, we can launch some uh, parts or uh, modules to uh, Tiangong for assembly, and then we can uh, fly to the moon from the LEO. Okay. Mm, in addition, uh, the home. Uh, in addition, the home port uh, probably be used for uh, asteroid defense. In order to prevent this disaster, uh, we can uh, detect it and own this uh, dangerous uh, asteroid, and then we can uh, launch the um, impact ve uh, vehicle to uh, change its orbit towards the Earth. So, we will uh, see whether the China Space Station can help Aster uh, detection and defense missions. That's all. Yeah, I really appreciate Li Xiang's brilliant idea, very constructive and very creative. Um, in my opinion, the CSS now has enough space for a Moon or Mars expedition team with uh, three to four crews uh, besides the CSS mission. And I believe the astronauts from Moon or Mars will be very happy to have a party with their partners or just to have a rest in the space station before re-entry, uh, before the re-entry process after a long trip of several days or even months. On the other hand, uh, if we plan to send space station assembling in low Earth orbit to the orbit around the Moon, uh, we also need this kind of a uh, refueling uh, station for this mission. I suggest we need to investigate the possibility of um, fuel supply ability uh, in orbit, which can be also considered as a gas station uh, in orbit for spacecraft. The space propellant refueling station uh, required the gas station in orbit 
uh, like uh, propellant refueling station can also contribute to the uh, defense system or CSS uh, for astronaut uh, besides the deep space importation. Uh, actually, we have verified the technology um, by Tianzhou cargo ship and uh, the space station, but the amount of refueling is relatively small. Uh, if we want to uh, connect or uh, make uh, makes a space station, I mean China space station, into a gas station for the spacecraft, the amount of propellant will be um, much larger than uh, the present situation, uh, maybe with tons of propellant. So the secret, uh, security issue will be very important. Um, However, we can operate uh, an unmanned gas station on Earth, so we can also operate an unmanned propellant station in orbit, uh, which will be much safer. Um, yeah. At last, the space station has uh, the ability to be a space emergency station. I mean, uh, the station could rescue other spacecraft and astronauts. If yeah, yes, this unexpected uh, situation happens. Uh, of course, we, we are not looking forward to it. Um, the spaceship, I mean, the Shenzhou spaceship dock, docked uh, on the CSS could turn to be an uh, ambulance. Um, just to, uh, let the spaceship, the Shenzhou spaceship, uh, docked with the uh, lunar module. Uh, we call it on cooperative. Dock. Uh, so the Shenzhou spaceship could be considered an ambulance. Right, right. As much as I hope that those emergencies would never happen, but it's always better for us to get prepared in advance, right? Now, I want to address on our feasibility first, as in our conscious feasibility. Do we have the capacity to carry out those deeper space explorations that you just mentioned? What do we need to do to undertake for those adventures? Uh, I think the rocket carrying capacity is very important for a uh, deep space uh, exploration. We are familiar with the uh, dedicated uh, launch vehicle to China Space Station, the Long March 5, uh, whose thrust uh, can meet the delivery capacity to the LEO. Uh, however, if we want to achieve manned lunar uh, landing and even uh, explore further place, we need to uh, a heavier rocket with stronger thrust. Uh, we already have a Long March 5, so we can keep and uh, adopt some of its uh, technology or module that have been verified. Uh, and in the future, there are two types of new rockets. Uh, the first one is the new uh, generation lunar mandated rocket. Uh, its diameter is close to the Long March 5 and is equivalent to uh, three uh, Call, uh, three call stages of Long March 5. And we can meet the mission requirements of a manned lunar landing by its two uh, launches. And the second new rocket is Long March 9. Uh, I think it is very, very, very strong and big. Uh, the uh, LEO carrying capacity uh, can reach more than um, 150 tons. Um, However, uh, Long March 5 is only 25 tons, uh, and its uh, Earth-Moon uh, tr uh, transfer orbit uh, capacity can reach more than uh, about uh, 50 tons. Uh, this, uh, this will be the rocket with the strongest carrying capacity in the future, so I think it is a very big challenge to every Chinese. Right, right. And I also learned uh, at the latest Airshow China this year that um, the new generation manned launch vehicle is expected to make its maiden flight in 2027. Mm -hmm. So what are the advantages and some drawbacks of these two types of rockets that are currently in development? Uh, Chen, you must have learned a lot around rockets. Yeah, as uh, Li Chang said, the new generation uh, manned a moon landing rocket has applied the technical basis of Long March 5. For example, the first stage engine uh, just adopts an improved uh, version of YF-100 uh, and uh, the 5 diameter propellant tank or the struct section 
can also uh, be inherited. Uh, so that we can quickly uh, build the ability to land uh, crews on the moon. Uh, the skill, uh, as referred to uh, Long March 9, the skill of uh, Long March 9 is much larger. Its engine and uh, structure with a diameter of uh, more than 10 meters uh, require more research and resources for its development. And moreover, we noticed that the largest, conf uh, the latest uh, uh, configuration uh, of Long March 9 is different from the previous one with two liquid, uh, very large or two or four liquid booster. The new scheme adopts the first stage recovery and the reusable, uh, VTVR recovery and the reusable design. This architecture uh, is a more risk and a more time consuming, but uh, it can reduce the cost of our future deep, uh, deep space mission and uh, low, Earth, uh, low Earth launch mission after being in service. Uh, the reusable design, uh, first stage re recovery, uh, first, first stage recovered or fully recovered, uh, actually had been had become a consistent on the roadmap of the future launch vehicles. That's the future of uh, launch vehicle. So the Long, Long March 9 would be our main launch vehicle for our uh, lunar mission or even Mars mission in our future. I see. So one is more of a timely solution and the other is a more is better for a sustainable development. So um, are there any other solutions apart from these two types of rockets? Uh, at present, uh, we mainly use traditional uh, chemical propulsion for space flight, uh, including liquid, liquid hydrogen, uh, liquid methane, and uh, you know, liquid oxygen. Uh, chemical propulsion can realize manned lunar uh, mission or even uh, interplanetary uh, probe mission, but it's relatively uh, insufficient for manned Mars mission. The future solution might be nuclear propulsion, nuclear electric propulsion, and nuclear thermal, uh, thermal propulsion (NEP and NTP). The two kind of uh, propulsion method based on nuclear uh, technology uh, can be considered as ideal solution to Mars and other planets, but not feasible now. Maybe they will be available in aerospace um, engine. Um, with a bigger, much bigger thrust in 20 or 25 years. Now, before we think too far, I want to come back to our space station. How does it serve as an important role in human exploration of the universe? Uh, it can help us have a better understanding of the space environment. Uh, secondly, uh, space experiments conducted at the uh, space uh, station can improve our uh, research. A stronger uh, research uh, ability can help us carry out more better uh, uh, deep uh, space exploration. And um, the thirdly, uh, I think it is uh, relevant to the port we built for other spacecraft. Uh, which can provide uh, other service for other uh, spacecraft, such as refueling. I think Alicia has given a very complete introduction on the uh, science meaning on CSS. The most direct value, value of a uh, space, uh, China space station is to, vary, but, uh, is to verify how to live and work uh, in orbit for a long time which is the foundation of long-term and deep uh, space exploration. Uh, the space station tests the human body, the ability to adapt to microgravity and uh, cosmic radiation environment. Um, maybe we will uh, face many challenges, including muscle loss and, uh, you know, uh, very effect uh, by the microgravity environment. And the life support system is also are crucial for the future um, uh, deep space mission, including uh, food storage, uh, water and gas recycling, um, medical care, uh, waste disposal, and even the food protection in the future. I've also learned that many scientists and engineers are looking for opportunities to do experiments uh, at our space lab. 
And it's impressive that we keep an open arm from the beginning. And let me share with you guys some numbers. Three years ago, before the Tianhe Core module was launched, nine projects were selected in a process of organized in a process organized with the United Nations Office uh, for Outer Space Affairs. And the European Space Agency is also cooperating with us for 10 projects at our space station. Now, what are some other international collaborations you've learned um, that's going on for being planned or being planned at China Space Station? Uh, the Future International Cooperation Project on CSS, uh, China Space Station, will also help create a model for future international collaboration in deep, uh, deep space exploration. The reported China will help the United Arab Emirates to land its first rover, maybe uh, relatively small than uh, the Chinese uh, rover uh, on the moon surface. And uh, the two countries' uh, space agency has sent the memorandum of understanding in September. Uh, I also read some reports on our future uh, lunar research station on the surface. We'll, uh, it will be built in a joint effort with Russia Space Agency Roscosmos. Uh, deep space exploration is driven by curiosity. This is a common dream of all mankind, and so it should have um, have the participation from all countries. That's the future of the deep space exploration. I know some European astronauts being uh, treated for getting into China Space Station and they are learning Chinese first. Uh, of course, I'm looking forward to more foreign researchers to board China Space Station. <laughs> Wonderful. I sincerely hope that we can all pay a visit to our space station in the just in near future. That's it for today. This is Chen Chen. Till next time. <laughs>